Hey everyone, welcome to Tokyo Haneda Airport. That is the monorail station. And, and then from here we'll sweep across to the main departure area. It's only four o'clock. Our flight is at 10 o'clock. We can't check in just yet, so we might go take a little walk around. You may otherwise arrive by the KQ Metro line, in which case I'll pan around this way and there's the same shot of the departure area here in Terminal 3 as well. Okay, so it looks like the stuff up there on the level above us, we might go check those out. And then this is the uh, check-in board and our flight is uh, not able to be checked in just yet. So we'll go take a little wonder. Ooh, there's a film crew, looks like they're filming something. Behind the scenes. <laughs> oh, there's a presenter there. All right, up the escalator we go. Let's see what's up there. Looks like there's um, Edo Marketplace restaurants and shops and things. So let's go check it out. Shops and restaurants. What oh, a beautiful airport. Nice high ceilings. Lots of room to walk around, sit down. We are Tokyo. For your last minute matcha fix. Okay, here's the coin. Okay, put there. Sorry. Okay, you're gonna capture Just think it's just gonna be. I think that's ramen. Definitely ramen. Thank you. So many options in there. There's some shops over here. Some displays over here. Looks like there's some more restaurants in the far corner there. And then this stage here in the middle. More souvenirs. More gifts. And more gifts. More restaurants in that corner. Oh wow, it keeps going. And bear in mind, this is not even airside yet. And then even more restaurants down here. My goodness, so well serviced. All right, let's set up the escalator. See what else we can find. Oh, that's the stairs, we don't want that. I've got bags. Let's go up the escalator. Ooh. Nice view of the, uh... oh wow, I can actually go outside and see what's going on out there. It's only about 4.30 now. I guess uh, the sun is setting earlier. It's winter. And then more tax-free shopping here. But we will head outside uh, a bit later on. Ooh, a bit of slot racing. Technical electric cars, I guess. Last minute toys, Japanese style. More Japanese souvenirs. And then another cafe over here. Let's see our shop selling military type gear. This one's trying to get out. And the wall of capsules. In case you have any leftover shrapnel, in fact they even say so, take advantage of the leftover JPY coins. Oh, now this one's trying to get out. The next one's trying to get out. What's going on? Alright, let's go outside to see what we can see. Might be a little bit chilly. I've packed all my jackets away, getting ready for return back to Australia in the summer. Okay. Not too bad, not too bad. I can tolerate this. Sitting area. Nice. Jet fuel. 
It's always nice to see the planes though, I gotta say. So presumably that probably says Tokyo International Airport. I yeah, can't quite see a Virgin Australia plane. I'm sure it's somewhere. Okay, I'm gonna drain the balance of the PASMO passport, which only lasts 28 days. Let's see, push that one. Okay, and then we tap this one here. Oh, something popped out. Yay! It's good use of uh, the remaining balance. Okay, so Joy's gonna drain her one as well. Same so drink. Go I want that one. I'll go roast it then, just to be different. Roast it, yep. Yeah. Joy's gonna tap. Remaining four in. Nice. Good, efficient use of the card. Yay! Look at all these planes. You love your planes? You'll love this. Then there's a little space out here, which we saw from outside. And, ooh, look at all these tags. More capsule machines to use up your remaining yen. And similarly on this side, more capsules, more vending machines. It's quite a high concentration of vending machines, huh? Then this pagoda thing. Then let's see what's in here. Curious to know. Oh, nothing. Okay. Let's shut. It's pretty ornate just for an airport. Especially if this is just the non air side, too. Place to rest and to watch the people below. And then past the bridge, some more eateries, places to sit. And back up the bridge. Might be almost time to check in. But first, the cool zone. Looks like there's a cafe down there. Another vending machine. Eh, it's not as cool as I thought it would be. I'm gonna miss these prices. Okay, so it turns out that uh, Virgin only opens its counter three hours before takeoff. So we still have another 45 minutes to kill, which is fine. Just hang around and enjoy the facilities. Um, you'll also be interested to know that um, for those who watch my channel regularly, that we had our Tesla Model Y on sentry mode for the first two days. We left the car in the car park with 94% charge, I think it was. Um, and on day two of our trip, uh, it was already down to 72%, which means it had drained by 6% per day with sentry mode on. So I figured if I had actually left that sentry mode on for the next two weeks in our trip, we would have actually drained the entire battery down to 20% because after 20%, um, the sentry mode cuts off, which may or may not have been enough to get home. So I figured I was going to turn off sentry mode uh, on day two, and it turns out it's only lost 2% in charge uh, in the next two weeks. So from 72% down to 70%. So that's something interesting to know if you're planning on leaving your car in a public car park, that it can lose up to 6% in charge per day, um, even with low activity, a secure car park like Sydney Airport. Um, otherwise, it's very minimal loss if you leave it long term without sentry mode on. I can spot counter K, version Australia screen is up. Let's go down, check it out. Ooh, version Australia, finally open. We've got gold status, so let's do priority check-in. Okay, so we have passed immigration and customs and security. And a quick pan around of the clean side or the air side, duty-free shops, etc. 
Okay, but we have priority pass access, so we're going to try to get into the lounge up there. That is the TIAT lounge, Sky Lounge. Let's hopefully we can get in. Okay, so that's the lounge access for TIAT lounge. We're going to use priority pass that allows you three guests per member. It's pretty crowded tonight. Food available. It's a good thing I'm hungry. Mm. Ice cream. Mm, it's supposed to be noodles. A bit of rice. Miso soup. Soft drinks. Juice. Coffee. Ooh, beer on tap. Sparkling water. Ooh, spirits and wines. Okay, so I've got this really, really firm neck pillow from Daiso for 500N, which is about $5. I've been looking for something this hard for a while. Hopefully this will help me sleep better tonight on the flight. Okay, and now for the walk to our gate 143. Uh, the check-in counter lady said it would take about 10 to 15 minutes walk, so uh, we're going to prepare for that distance. The usual high-end shops here. Looks like a pretty new terminal here at Haneda. And uh, yeah, as you saw, the lounge is pretty busy. Um, there was even a standby queue to get in after we left. But it was nice to have that uh, free food and beverage. And there were showers as well, which I didn't use. But wouldn't say it's the most comfortable lounge I've been in, but hey, I'm not going to complain about free food and drink. All day air dining, Tokyo Sky Kitchen. Some more street food style shops here. We've got udon, ramen, got the usual chemist, and last minute things. Getting close. I can see the Qantas boarding gates there. I think we're 143, so we're not far. Little coffee shop. And here we are at uh, gate 143, at the very quiet end of the terminal. And it looks quiet, but I'll show you when we get closer that the actual gate is actually downstairs as we head down these escalators. See how it's actually down here. And in fact, I think they've even commenced boarding. Perfect timing. Look, they've got little charging ports too at the actual gate. That's pretty good. And then obviously toilets as well. And there is our plane. Okay, so we're on board VA Flight 78 from Haneda, Tokyo to uh, Cairns. It's a 737 MAX, uh, same plane basically that flew us from Cairns to Tokyo. Um, 3x3 configuration, fairly full flight, a few seats left in that Economy X section. I'm sitting in row number 7 uh, with the kids next to me and Joy and her parents in the opposite aisle, so at least we've got the whole row to ourselves again. Um, it, it's configured such that the um, stowage is a bit bigger than a normal domestic flight. You can see a bit there. Uh, so a bit more space. But it still kind of feels like a domestic flight, I must say, because of the way the plane is configured. I'm kind of used to like 333 or 343 for those bigger planes flying overseas. But nevertheless, comfortable enough. I've got my trusty head pillow, so I'll give you my thoughts on the head pillow when I return. I managed to smuggle on some food from the lounge. Got a couple of um, red salmon triangular rice snacks and stuff that I love. So uh, I'll probably eat that as we get further into the flight. I also smuggled on... a pack of potato chips. And because of the pressure difference, uh, it's feeling pretty full. So, 
Uh, it's going to be quite an interesting when I open it up later on. Yeah. Anyway, uh, I'm going to try and get some sleep now because it's a red eye. And I'll try and touch base in the morning. Okay, so I slept through uh, most of the flight. It's now about 5 a.m. Brisbane time or Cairns time. I probably slept about four and a half hours actually, so I'm pretty happy. And I attribute that uh, to this really good neck pillow. This is probably the hardest neck pillow I've ever slept on. Again, 500 yen from Daiso. If you're in Japan, look for it. You won't be disappointed. And because they don't um, serve complimentary food on the Virgin flight, I will be eating this I smuggled in from the lounge earlier. So I'm going to tuck in and then have a proper breakfast and coffee when I get to Cairns. And we're in Cairns! And now for the walk back to the domestic channel. And it is hot and humid already. It's only about 7.30 in the morning. So that's the international building right there. And uh, yeah, like I said, about 10 to 15 minute walk across to the domestic terminal. And our transfer is about three hours time, I think. So it should give us enough time to have breakfast, have a little snooze maybe as well. Yeah, there is somewhere to sit. Okay, so from here it's about a 400 meter walk by undercover walkway. It's mostly covered under this uh, tin roof. And the good thing about arriving at Cairns is that because it's a smaller airport, the uh, checkout process via Immigration Customs Border Security was actually pretty quick, uh, as was uh, receiving our bags. So that's one benefit of arriving in Cairns. Okay, 250 meters via walkway for the domestic terminal. And at this point, you can already kind of see it in the distance there. And here we are at the domestic terminal. And I just checked the weather app, 27 degrees Celsius. And it's only uh, 7.30 a.m. So yes, uh, it does get pretty hot around here. Welcome to Cairns Airport. The priority check-in's shut, but at least there is a Anita arrivals bag drop. Okay, so we have arrived at Cairns Domestic Terminal. And we've got a few more food options here as well, so let's check that out. Apparently a new premium shopping experience is coming soon. We'll see. Okay, so here we are at Cairns Airport and you can see the departures board. It's Sydney uh, on Virgin at 10.55, boarding in 90 minutes from now. All right, so uh, we've got another hour left before we board our flight back to Sydney. Um, and I've got to say that the Cairns domestic terminal is much better than the international terminal. Uh, there are a lot more shops around. There are at least three coffee shops, a couple of fast food outlets, uh, even a Vietnamese uh, chain a fast food outlet as well. So very well serviced. And this was all open still at 7.30 to 8 o'clock in the morning when we uh, finally passed through security uh, to the domestic terminal. Um, pretty bustling place, so uh, not a bad place to uh, hang out uh, if you're waiting for a flight back uh, after uh you know transferring from the international terminal um next time if we ever do this flight again i will be having lunch here at the domestic terminal first before going back to the international terminal last minute uh to fly to japan if i ever take this flight again um, the downside of uh transferring here in Kansas is that you have to go through security again um you've also got to take your bags out uh when you land in australia for by security reasons but as I showed you, there is a Haneda drop-off area for Virgin, so they'll take your bags pretty quickly if you leave your tags on. They try to make the experience as seamless as possible. Would I take this flight again? 
if the price was as good as it was when we booked it, literally half the price, then I would definitely strongly consider, despite uh, the inconvenience of having to change at Cairns. There are some upsides as well, like I showed you. Um, but if it was the same price, I would probably just take um, the equivalent flight using ANA or JAL or even Qantas uh, straight from the Sydney airport next time. But like I said, if the price is right, anything is possible. All right, well, I hope you've enjoyed watching uh, our travel vlogs uh, to Japan um, as much as I've enjoyed making them. Um, so stay tuned for more EV content coming up in 2024 and beyond. Um, and thanks so much for watching. Until next time, happy travels.